Today's video, we're going to be looking at a machete that is ready for the apocalypse, maybe. So stick around. We are going to look at this bad boy in action. So this is the Odin Wolf Machete, that's what it's called. Uh, it's a D2 steel. It has um, a very, I think, similar profile to a couple other knives in the market you've probably seen. And then Tops, I think, has the El Chetty or something like that that's similar to this as well. Um, so it is full tang. Tang goes all the way to the handle, lanyard hole. It's got this... Um, rubber or I don't know if it's rubber it's more of a plastic over molded handle um, there's some texturing on it you can see that it does have this jimping on the spine but it's not very aggressive it's smooth it's actually rounded um, I probably would have preferred just not to even have that that way I could have filed that down and sharpened that use that for ferro uh, striking use that to strike a ferro rod but what's interesting about this, and there is no information on their website about the grind of this, um, or even the overall dimensions. I'll, I'll put some captions down below when I do some measurements on it. But what's interesting is there is one grind that starts at the tip and goes down to here, and that stops, and it goes into another grind down here. A long time ago, I saw a video um, from a gentleman who modified machetes and he had done a similar thing to one of his bolo machetes he had basically a standard kind of v grind up here and then did um, kind of almost like a scandy type grind down here and then the thinking is that this is your chopping blade so it's more durable um, it's not as a fine a point or a fine um, an edge and then a more fine edge down here which would be used for um, you know doing wood shavings curls uh, more carving type tasks as far as weight wise it's got a it's got a little bit of heft to it um, it definitely chops pretty decently um, the weight is in the is forward of the handle for sure all the weight is in that blade so that's going to help with that coming down and driving more power into your into your chopping stroke handles comfortable um, it is long so you've got handle up here but then you can also bring it back so if you're doing lighter um, flicking of your wrist for brush you can do that and then you can choke up on it and you want to do more controlled, more power type strokes.
So it's not like my number one pick for a big blade. Like there's other knives I would probably choose over this. Uh, definitely, you know, a big fan of SE knives and junglists and things like that. Um, but for your budget options, for people who are getting started, I don't think it's a bad option at all. It's definitely fun to play with. Um, and the D2 steel is respectable. Uh, I think the just needs a little bit of sharpening. It does have a decent sheath with it. So this is not Kydex, but it's kind of a, a plastic material. You got eyelets all the way around. Uh, you got ways to add straps to it. There is a nylon dangler that has a snap, so you don't have to take your belt off to put this on and off. It's very secure. It's got a retention strap right there with the button. So overall, nice package for the money. Um, a little bit better than some of the stuff that's out there. Um, definitely a great shape. And then Odin Wolf also came out with this new knife. This is a pocket knife. This is called the Picnic. And what this is, is just an interesting little uh, utility knife that is perfect for throwing in your mess kit or your picnic basket or, or lunch bag or whatever. Um, it's a stainless steel. It does have a lock, liner lock in it. And it's serrated on one side, but it's not overly aggressive serrations. It's not the kind of serrations you would use for uh, cutting rope. It's more, more of a serration for cutting uh, like fruit, vegetables, and meat. So it's a nice little kitchen knife uh, for your pack, but what's cool about it is it's like under $15. So it's just a nice little addition to throw in your mess kit. Check out the affiliate links down below. There'll be a link to this knife and the picnic as well. So if you're interested in looking at the more specs on it or purchasing it, you can do so. Um, definitely do some more testing with this in the coming months and uh, see how it fares but uh, overall not a bad tool for the price all right thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the prepared wanderer